Welcome to Super Reaction Bros. I'm Chris. And I'm Christopher. And we are crossing off another off the list of very, very long awaited sequels. Oh, yeah. As we are checking a look at the first official teaser trailer for Beetlejuice 2, aka Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, which mm -hmm. I think some make a good point. Does that mean they're going to probably do a third one? Because remember, he had to say his name three times just to get him to come out and stuff like that. So, for those who don't remember, in the last original film, um, I, what was it? Alec Baldwin and Gina Davis died, died yeah. and wound up in the afterlife and eventually even winds up finding uh, Beetlejuice, or yeah, Beetle they, guys, they, uh, and eventually right, played by Michael Keaton. And they base, he basically helps them haunt the lands, but then, haunt the, the house, because yeah. new people move in, including Winona Ryder and Captain yeah. O'Hara's family. Mm -hmm. uh, but then eventually it turns out he's looking for a new vessel to escape the world he lives in. Oh, yeah. And ultimately, Alec Ball and Gina Davis eventually stop him, and they yeah. move With on. With the help of Winona Ryder. Winona Ryder. Ryder. Now, or years later, um, Winona Ryder's still living in the house. Now with a daughter, played by, perfectly cast, being played by Jenna Ortega. She's been getting some solid um, roles lately. Catherine Hara is in this, uh, returning as well oh, yeah. as Winona Ryder's uh, mom. And obviously Michael Keaton, who's had role. a yeah. older gentleman renaissance of film lately. Mm -hmm. Had an amazing moment at the Oscars with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Dane DeVito. Yeah. Um, yeah, and we got a couple other new faces. Yeah. Uh, Tim Burton is back to direct. Yeah. Um, and even the original composer, I forget, yeah. I forget the name off the top of my head, but he's back to compose for the film as well. I I always believed there was going to eventually be another one. Oh, like, yeah. It was never a no. It was just only time will it's tell. Kind of, it's one of those things where it's like they have to let time pass to see you. To see if they can come up with something yeah. that'll work. Yeah, on the list I said about like most likely long way sequels happy and least likely, this is closer to that top part. Mm -hmm. Like so and I'm happy. And they did confirm the OG song is coming back into in, in the scene in this film pretty much. Oh yeah, that one. Yeah, because they said Catherine O'Hara, she confirmed going, at least yes, that song does return, at least for one of the scenes in the film here. Or like yeah, so Sorry, I'm trying to remember composer. I think it was Danny Elfman. I'll look later. Yeah, it is. It was Danny, Danny Elfman. Elfman. Yeah, because cool. I'm sitting there going, I know it starts with something. Now you mentioned that, I'm like that's it right there. So enough said. Let's dive into this for the official teaser trailer for Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. So here we go. The bridge. bridge. Oh, oh, she 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 is. Okay, I think the dad dies. No, she finds it. She even has the old hair too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Peter Bryce, Peter Bryce. There he is. The juice is loose. The juice is loose. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Pretty cool, AD. Hey. Do not back shit. <laughs> So it looks like, yeah, it looks like the father passed her, like Joe Taylor's yeah, father yeah. passed like, away. Possibly. It seems like they come back because it looks like they're away, so they come back. Yeah, because the thing is, surrounding Beelchers is it was all about the. It's like him involved with the afterlife. Mm -hmm. So maybe like she's looking for something more, and she finds the, of course, the the what do you call those? The uh, panor not panorama. Those landscape models. Yeah, I know what like, you mean. The miniature recreation of yeah, the town. Yeah, because remember that's what it was in the last one. And that's where. Even the mom realizes what she's got. Her daughter's gotten into. Mm. I just love her fact she. They brought back her initial hairdo from the first. Her look film. in a way, pretty much. They, they, it's like they kept her look going. In the, I didn't notice it till you noticed that they're singing. They're the singing. Song. The, they're singing the song. They like them. <laughs> and, you know, and, and especially it feels like they come back because of his death. You know, stuff like that. That's how come it's like. He, it's not like she decided to stay in town. She, something tells me she probably makes a deal with him to bring, like, bring to see her father again. That's what I think. And I of think course, of. we already know why you shouldn't make a deal with him. Yeah. 
And also, there's the obvious fact that they didn't have to put as much makeup on Michael Keaton this time around. Oh, yeah, yeah, it says Beal Guys, Beal Guys. Yeah. Yeah, uh, they didn't have to put as much makeup on this time around. Oh, yeah, he's, he's gotten much older. Oh, yeah, you definitely pause at the right moment. <laughs> like, the juice is loose. <laughs> it's loose. It's like, oh, shit. <laughs> I remember the animated show, too. The animated show was real fun to watch as well. Like, you know, it was just their adventures. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, it looks like he's awake again, older and pissed off. Yeah, he's more pissed off than ever. You know, it's just like, all right, let's try this again. Type of situation. I'm curious to see where it goes. There's not much here. It's September. IMAX. I'm surprised they didn't just delay it like one more up to the October season. Um, but now nah, I'm curious to see where we go with this. Yeah. Tim Burton nowadays isn't exactly the same Tim Burton we remember from back in the day. Uh, him, he's right now one of those. It's a hit or a miss sometimes. You yeah, know, for some with his that. more recent stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's a um, hit or a miss. I can't believe there was a point where he may have directed that Superman movie. Like yeah. just to think about that. Um, but nah, like I said, good casting for her daughter. I love that they got Winona Ryder and Catherine here, and especially Michael Keaton back. Who, like I said, has had an amazing return to form oh, in yeah, television. Been, yeah, he's, he's I think he has another one coming out where he's like some kind of hitman. Yeah, he's a hitman with the, like dementia or something like that. That's yeah, what it is. but nah, I'm all I'm all for this. I know I have somebody I know that like is a big fan. Even has like one of the scenes from the film tattooed on her leg, mm -hmm. and like I. I know they're excited for this. I'm personally excited to see where this film goes. Because it does feel like it's obvious. It's She wants to see her father again, and she makes a deal with the exact wrong person. Yeah, exactly. You know. Sorry, that exact wrong being. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like it's just a little bit more to anybody else when it comes to talking about films like this Beetlejuice one, hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. Let us know what your guys' thoughts are, you know, for this film. Are you guys excited for it? Are you genuinely just pumped to see what's going to happen next for uh, Beetlejuice, for Michael Keaton, for just the whole cast to see them come back and and see what they're going to bring this time around for this film. Any thoughts and theories for this story overall? Do you think, yeah, yeah she wants to bring back her father or maybe there's something more that she wants, you know, out of it than just her father? I mean, who knows? But you know, let us know what what drew you into the first one. What what was it that really attracted you to pretty much that first film, first Beetlejuice film? You know, you know, was it the story? Was just the the costumes, just the unique storytelling overall? You know, um, just let us know in the comments down below. Uh, put down what you thought of our reaction overall, but most of. Importantly, we thank you for watching. So, and speaking of the first Beetlejuice film, you can check out our reaction to the official trailer for the Beetlejuice documentary, mm -hmm. which goes into detail not only how the film was made, but how they chose the town. Oh, yeah. Which, for the looks of things, it's the same town mm -hmm. uh, for the original film. Yeah, where they built a full-on house and everything. They literally built a house from the yeah. scratch, uh, you know, from the, from the ground up, just to, you know, to get it to work. So, make sure to check that out as well. But until next time, I'm Kristen. And this has been a daylight come filled episode of SRB. And you wanna go home? See ya later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out any of our previous reactions, as well as one of our other SRB shows, check out one of the playlists down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can find us on Twitter and Stardust at Super React Bros. As well as on Facebook at Super Reaction Bros.